You are listening to Otter Space, Episode 2, Abduction. It's nighttime in Monterey Bay. The tide has rolled out. In the distance, otters are paired off with their paw buddies sleeping calmly under the peaceful night sky. Gasping heavily, both Cordy and Kip crawl onto the beach. The mangled otter doll that Kip built as a paw buddy replacement is still attached to him. <laughs> nice teddy bear. It's a prototype? When it's done, everyone's gonna want one. Glad it's not me strapped to you. Like I'd ever. Cordy rolls onto her back and looks up at the stars. <gasps> we need new paw buddies. If only there were other otters. Definitely none up there. There most certainly are. Kip and Cordy look curiously at Sea Star, then at the stars. No, oh, up the coast. Fur brains? More otters? Uh, how far up the coast? A ways. I can show ye. Show us? Do you even have eyes? I got five. Sea Star shows off a tiny eye at the end of each of his arms. The last one has an eye patch with a Jolly Roger painted on. Oh, four. Four deadlights. Yeah, that's weird. Here's the deal, Bill Drats. I find ye new paw buddies. You take I someplace far away from anyone. Deal. No deal. We gotta think this over. What's there to think about? The perfect paw buddy is out. There! Someone who isn't going to challenge you wants to do all the fun things you want to do. Just the way ye planned to do them. Just the way I planned? Otherwise, it's me and you, dude. Kip sours on that idea. So? Do we have ourselves a deal? Cordy and Kip shake one of the Sea Star's arms. It tears off. Kip freaks out, uh, 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 throws the squirming sea star arm far away. Ah! What did you do? Me? You're the one who took off his arm. <laughs> I'm just messing with ye. Happens all the time. Sea star pulls a fish hook from Kip's doll, attaches it in place of his missing appendage, and swings it around. Yar! <laughs> Till a new one grows back. Sea Star clamps onto Cordy's back like a pirate on his ship. All right, little doggies. Third star to the left and straight on till the morning. Uh, don't you mean second star? Shut up and let me sail. Kip and Cordy arrive at San Francisco Bay by sunrise. Sea Star surfs on top of Cordy, searching the skyline. The Golden Gate Bridge is shrouded in a foggy sunrise. Ahoy! There be otters. Moments later, they float before a pelican near a footing of the Golden Gate Bridge. Sea otters? In San Francisco Bay? No sea otters here. No, no sea, sea otters. otters? We got a few sea lions, so... Ah, perfect. Same difference. Sea lions have flippers. Yeah, we've got paws. With claws. Cordy flashes her claws at the sea star. Listen, Birdie, you're telling me that there not be even a single otter living in this whole entire bay? No, not a one. <gasps> I be home! Sea star falls backwards blissfully into the water. Wah-ha! Hey, what about our deal? He broke the rules. Underwater. Kip and Cordy swim downward hard, but they can't catch up. Sinking Sea Star waves goodbye and disappears into blackness. Kip and Cordy surface, gasping for air. It's too deep! Uh, for you, maybe. We just need to dive off something tall. Cordy looks up and sees the Golden Gate Bridge. What about that? Too tall. Huh. For you, maybe. Kip and Cordy make their way to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge and peer down over the edge. I've only calculated for half this. That starfish is down there and he's gonna pay. Let's do this. But we'll hit the water at twice the speed. Good! We'll need it to get down to whatever hole he crawled into. <laughs> we need to run experiments and then we can- You know what? You think 
too much. Cordy whacks Kip with her tail. He topples off the bridge. Oh, no, 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 no! As Kip falls, he sees Cordy diving and smiling maniacally. <laughs> on the bridge's footpath, humans are too distracted by otter videos on their phones to notice the otters zoom right by. Kip points his head down, strains his body, and they pierce the water like rockets. Deep down on the quiet floor of the bay, Sea Star hugs a seashell-shaped rock fused to the ocean floor. Peace at last. Bubbles beat off Kip and Cordy's whiskers as they dive deep underwater. They grab Sea Star, but he won't let go of his rock. Kip and Cordy claw at the rock, breaking it free from its ancient resting spot. They bring Sea Star to the surface, rock and all. Ah! Oh, would you leave me be? I just want to be alone. Peace and quiet. I say we feed him to the pelican. No, we bring him back home with us. No, feed me to the pelican. Just don't make me spend another minute with otters. Kip rips Sea Star off, sort of. Half of the rock is still attached to Sea Star. Inside the other half is the ancient Aquarian seashell-shaped probe, the one which crashed onto Earth millions of years ago and never touched water. A shell? It's so blingy. You know who'd love this? Olive. Cordy snatches the probe from Kip. One look at this and she'll have to take me back. Kip rips the probe back. No, Jasper. It'll remind him that I'm his best friend. Cordy grabs onto the probe. <laughs> A tug of war ensues, shaking all the dirt out, exposing its ancient ports. It will never work, like all of your plans. Knowing you, you'll lose it before we get home. Kip and Cordy yank each other underwater. Silence. Water seeps into the probe's ports. It opens like a clam. Amazed, Kip and Cordy raise it above the water. A hologram of a neon orange ancient Aquarian projects from the probe. Greetings and congratulations. Is she a... Are you a... Coolest otter I've ever seen. Ooh! Dibs on Paw Buddy's with her. You can't call dibs on a... <gasps> Cordy leaps to grab the Aquarian's paw and dives right through her. Ha! <gasps> Hologram. You mean, she's not real? She's real. She's just not here. Greetings and congratulations. She's not here and she's broken? Uh, just need to restart this thing. Cordy and Kip struggle to close the probe. Greetings and congratulations. Greetings and congratulations. Peace Greetings and, and congratulations. Quiet! Only Sea Star is strong enough to close it. Yeesh! A huge dark shadow passes over them. <gasps> Abandoned ship! Sea Star jumps. His hook hand plants into the bridge footing. A red plasma tube extends from the sky and encircles Kip and Cordy. The tube turns green. Suction begins, lifting Kip, Cordy, and the probe up inside an inverted whirlpool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cordy points out the similarity between the probe and the giant silver clamshell spaceship sucking them up right now. Below, Sea Star is attached to the Golden Gate Bridge's footing. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Good riddance, furballs! As the plasma tube retracts, the suction grabs Sea Star and tears him from the bridge footing. Uh, no! 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 Uh, Sea Star sticks to the bottom of the clamshell spaceship. Ah! He gasps for breath, suffocating. <laughs> A plasma force field surrounds the ship, allowing him to breathe. 
the clamshell spaceship slingshots out of Earth's atmosphere. Humans sit on a park bench with a perfect view of the spaceship flying away, but are too distracted by internet otter videos on their mobile phones to notice.